questions for me that I that I am stumped on, right? Just a little poll. That's a good point. Like, what you're saying to me makes logical sense. Yeah, that really just tripped me out. I want to raise our conscious level, man, because this is this is a painful one, but this, this is painful. It's crazy, man. <laughs> they will never talk to us because they can't. They have nothing other than lies, misrepresentations, and massive. If you get some good feedback in the chat room, yeah. and I believe this guy is so right, Scott. This could be the most important lie that was fed to us by the powers that be in my mind. I'm definitely, I'm, I'm swayed, you know, I, I'm swayed because you make some like, really, really good points and then a lot of people in the chat room really agree with you too, I mean. That's too many discrepancies right there, that's just ridiculous. Right, right. That's a valid point. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I mean, these are things that are just common sense. You shit me. I was there, I met Buzz all day. And I told him, I just went up to him and I shook his hand. I go, I know you never would. And he looked at me and he smiled and he gave me a smirk and he just shook his head like this. Yeah, like this kid go. knows. And, yeah. and, then, and then he goes, he patted me on the shoulder, you're a smart kid. And he just walked off. I mean, people are going to think you're absolutely batshit for saying that. I think that just sealed the deal right there. Interesting. Interesting. I'm keeping an open mind for this and honestly, you're, you're Here's making what I valid, 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 valid. Here's points. what I tell right? Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> Nope, he's not there yet. We do have some... By the way, we are brought to you today by Frito-Lay. Did you know that? Frito-Lay, yeah, great company. I mean, their genetically modified corn is delicious. It's some of the best genetically modified corn there is. Wow, I wish you would... Dave, are you there yet? Dave, he's not there yet. There's a lot of machinery out there, Jaren. It's probably hard to hear. Yeah, oh yeah, just cords, cables, connectors, everything. Everything you could possibly want. But in so, space, in space, though, on that when they landed, I, I'm pretty sure Buzz and Neil were able to speak on top of the booster. So maybe there's maybe there's some sort of sound insulation. I mean, they're able to clearly yeah, speak. Very quiet the engine and uh, very impressive feat by those two guys. I don't know what's going on. Dave was supposed to join us, but uh, the ISS looks empty right now, other than the floating bags of Fritos. And hopefully, I don't know. Uh, let's see if we unmute the the station. If hopefully, it's, yeah, that's just going to have some terrible echo there. I actually know why that's going on, and it will be. Fi what is this thing now? Wow! What is that thing? Look at that, dude! You can see oh, through it. They, man, the International Space Station—that's this very special place, Jan. It's almost a holy place. Oh, if I was ever there, I would, I would definitely get on my knees and, and you know, thank the good Lord that the ISS exists, and for all. Think of all the benefits that have come to Earth. Uh, ISS has been there 20 years. So oh, what's this now floating up? Wow! Oh, that's some sort of weapon for the Space Force. They're that's the new Space Force technology they're trying out there. I love it. It's, yeah, that's a that's definitely a Lockheed Martin space weapon for sure. Oh, that is great. Yeah, it shoots. I think it's like space pellets. It shoots. They're, I mean, they're, once you just get it in motion, Jaron, they go forever. You can shoot a space pellet to Mars. It's quite beautiful. Yes, flat smack biblical. You are right. There is advertising sponsorship. We are getting paid heavily by Frito Lay for this show. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Uh, Dean HD says it looks fake. Wow. Well, that's impossible. That's impossible. Go back. I want to be monkey. Speaking of the show, tonight's show, man, it's a perfect nine. If you've spent any amount of time on the internet, you've probably stumbled across Time Cube. 
Sleep.com. This is a site that explains that there are four different simultaneous 24-hour days within a single rotation of Earth. Not one, which means I've been missing out on three happy hours a day, I suppose. And welcome back. Christopher Columbus said the Earth was round, not flat. People laughed. Well, Columbus had nothing on our next guest. He says there are four different simultaneous 24-hour days within a single rotation of Earth. It's called the time cube principle, and if you laugh at it, you're stupid, evil, and deserve to be spit on publicly. From Atlanta, here to explain the time cube, its discoverer and champion, and the self-proclaimed wisest man who ever lived, Gene Ray. Welcome to the show, Gene. Thank you, Martin. So, Gene, you say that I'm stupid because I believe that when the Earth rotates once, there is only one 24-hour day, but your time cube principle disputes this, no? Right. It has uh, four corners. Uh, when it shines at midday, it simultaneously creates a midnight, where the two majors join it creates the two minors of sun up and sun down. And each qu corner quadrant of Earth rotates to its own separate 24-hour days. Well, the Earth, the Earth is a sphere, though. It's not a cube. <laughs> it, it's composed of four quadrant corners. Each corner quadrant rotates in four different directions simultaneously toward midday, midnight, sun up and sundown. It rotates those directions simultaneously. Each one of them has its own separate day. Gene, how do you know this? What's your proof, scientifically speaking? Well, here's in the cube. You can see it. You can't deny that. I offer any academic institution, any professor, $10,000 to disprove it. They can't disprove it, so they ignore it and run and hide. You're offering $10,000 to anyone who can dispute the time cube principle? Uh, institution or professor. Not me. If I if I beat you in a debate right now, you're not going to pay me ten thousand. One thousand. One thousand for me. That's all right. I got I got my own model of the time cube right here. Where'd you get these things? Like uh, Magic Mountain? Well, they're they're paperweights. You can buy them. They're just paperweights, but they represent the time cube. But the, the, this cube, this has this has six sides. The cube has six sides. You say there's four separate days. That doesn't make sense. How can you call a top and bottom a side? You call the top of your bedroom uh -huh. and bottom of your four sides? That's dumb. That, that makes a lot of sense. Now, everything, the solar system has a top and bottom, front and back and two sides. Earth has a top and bottom, front and back and two sides. The human has a top and bottom, front and back and two sides. Now, the human head has four corners, nose, two ears, and a back corner. But they don't have the one corner face. It's only one fourth of who they think they are, one corner. But they go around the four corners in a lifetime: the baby, the child, the parent, and the grandparent. Uh -huh. We don't recognize human metamorphosis. Gotcha. You know, I can't help notice that you're wearing a hat that says "Time Cube" from MIT 2002. Did you? Are you a professor at MIT? Did you teach this at MIT? What's the story? No, I lectured up there last year. They, they uh, uh, it was a student thing. They had about 500 students from MIT, Harvard, and many other universities around there. And they treated me like Einstein now, but the school was not sponsored. I had $5 cash off, and the professor would come down and explain the time cube and disprove it. But they run and hide. It, they cannot, the academia cannot allow this to be known because it contradicts everything that they are teaching. Really? I mean, do you think that this should be taught in schools from kindergarten on up through the, the graduate departments? It, it's the only thing, principle, that will save humans from self destruction, like East Island. They went and cut the trees down, they ate the animals, the chickens, the rats, and then they started practicing cannibalism. Uh -huh. the, the U.S. is on the same path, it's just a larger island. So if we don't start believing in the time cube principle, we're going to resort to cannibalism? That's right, because this is perpetual. Uh -huh. the, the Einstein said time is linear. Actually, that's not true. It, it's, it's cubic. If you stand at the point midday, that same point is somebody else's sundown, somebody else's midnight, and somebody else's sun up. Yeah, I, I get this. I like it's very clear to me. But what what do you feel about people who who say that you're nuts, that don't believe in the time cube principle? Well, they, like I say, they're stupid, and uh -huh. they, in fact, that's evil. Being stupid about it is evil. So, so you think the majority of humanity is stupid? But they're educated, stupid. That's what they're taught. The self is the lowest form of humanity. It cannot procreate alone. And the family is a creation body, but not the true body because it doesn't merit. It's the village that's the true body because it has multi-families with a near equal number of both sexes of all ages. But we destroyed all villages. We have communities that are really uh, of strangers and who have no allegiance or obligation to anything or anybody. Hey, Ray, how, how, Gene, how do you feel about being an Internet celebrity? I mean, you're, you're huge on the web. Well, the, uh, it's not a position I wanted. It's something I had to do. Yeah. And, and, and nobody, like, I'm not a writer or a speaker, but no writer or speaker understands the uh, time cube.
All right. Hey, Gene, thanks so much, and good luck with your quest to convince humanity of the time cube principle. Thank you. All right. That's Gene Ray offering up wisdom for the ages. For more information on his time cube theory, visit our site, techtv.com slash unscrewed. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul.